Okay, let's have example number 2. So we have y equals negative x squared plus 4x minus 3. So may kasama na yung, yung ating x squared. Let's write it first using, first write our function in vertex form. Negative x squared. So let me write it here first. It's y equals negative x squared. So we have y equals negative x squared plus 4x minus 3. The first step para masulat mo to in vertex uh, into vertex form, i-factor out mo muna kung ano yung kasama ni x squared. So in this case, may kasama siyang negative 1, so we have to factor that out first. So it will become negative of x squared. This will become minus 4x. Tapos mag-leave tayo ng space. Dito, hindi mo na kailangan tanggalin pa yung negative or hindi mo, di mo kailangan siyang i-factor. Hindi mo kailangan siyang isama dun sa pag-factor out ng negative 1. So mag-negative 3 lang siya dyan. And then, Negative 4, so let's do completing the squares. 4 divided by 2, that's 2. Squared, that's 4. So we'll add 4 here. Since nag-add tayo ng 4 dito, be careful lang. Mukha lang tayo nag-add ng 4 dyan. But uh, imagine, kapag dinistribute mo ulit yung negative, it will become negative x squared plus 4x minus 4. So ang technically, ang dinagdag mo talaga ay negative 4. So para ma-neutralize yun, parang baliwala lang yung inad mo, so, kailangan mag-plus ka ng 4 dito. Be careful ha, ulit. Kailangan mo din i-consider kung ano yung factor out mo. Since nag-factor out ka ng negative, tapos nagdagdag ka ng 4 dito para ma-complete mo yung squares, ibig sabihin, sa buong equation, sa left, sa right-hand side, ang, ang dinagdag mo ay negative 4. Kasi pag dinistribute mo to dito, negative 4. So, para matanggal yon at para 0 lang yung dinagdag mo, so you'll have, have to add 4 dito naman sa, sa right side pa din. And um, we can now... Of course, this is factorable, perfect square trinomial, x minus 2 times x minus 2, or x minus 2 squared. And this will become plus 1. Our vertex form ng ating quadratic equation is x minus 2 squared plus 1. We're going to compare this into y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. The value of a is negative 1. Your h is 2 and your k is 1. So we can now fill in our table. Let's start with, oh, so, so praise. So let's natin, no? Ano ngayon? Um, x minus 2 squared plus 1. y equals negative x minus 2 squared plus 1. Your vertex, hk, so that this is 2, 1. Yung opening mo. Since a equals negative 1, which is less than 0, your parabola opens downward. And um, axis of symmetry, x equals h. So x equals 2. And um, domain, of course, all reals. Pwedeng ganto. That's the symbol of all real numbers. X intercept. Siyempre, y intercept mo na. Mas madaling kuha niyo y intercept, no? Again, to get the y intercept, we have to set x to 0. So in this case, Kapag ginamit natin to, 0 na to, this will become 0, this will become 0 also, may iwan na lang ay negative, negative 3. So therefore, your y-intercept is negative 3. Your x-intercept, how do you get the x-intercept? Pwede nyo gamitin to, pwede gamitin to. O kaya naman, kung, kung gusto mo din mag-factor, pwede rin naman yun, o kaya completing the squares, o kaya quadratic formula. But I suggest, gamitin natin yung vertex form natin. So for the x-intercept, we have to set y to 0. So, ang gamitin natin, I suggest gamitin natin to. Yung ating uh, vertex form. y equals negative x minus 2 plus 1. Okay, si set natin sa 0 yung y natin. 0 equals negative of x minus 2 squared plus 1. Tapos ilipat natin yung, ito, ilipat natin tong buong to sa left. So, by doing that, maging plus na siya, x minus 2 squared equals, na palayo, sorry, okay lang yan. Equals 1. Um, I-lapit lang natin ng konti. And then, obviously, pwedeng we can get the root of both sides. Pero plus and minus yan. So, we'll be, we will get x minus 2 equals plus or minus 1. So, yung first x-intercept natin, x minus 2 equals negative 1. Or x minus 2 equals positive 1. So, the first value of x is 1. Because if you transpose negative 2 to the other side, lagyan natin yan. So we'll get x equals 2 minus 1. Therefore, x equals 1. And on the other side, 
if we put negative 2 to the other side, it will become 1 plus 2. So therefore, x is equal to 3. So our x-intercepts are 1 and 3. 1 and 3. So we're now ready to plot. Let's first locate the vertex at 2, 1. So this is 1, 2, and then 1. 1 here. So this is our vertex. And then our x-intercepts are 1 and 3. So here is 1 and here is 3. And then our y-intercept is negative 3. So negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. This here is our y-intercept. Yung ating axis of symmetry at x equals 2. So plot na natin siya. I graph na pala natin. That's the vertical line passing through x equals 2. And then, of course, sabi ko mirror image, di ba? So pwede natin i-mirror to dito. So dito sa point na to. So magkakaroon tayo ng, magkakaroon tayo ng point dito. Okay? Okay. So yan, pwede natin siyang i-graph. Pwede natin siyang i-graph. Smooth curve ulit. The parabola opens downward. Okay. So again, lahat ng x meron, tinamaan, lahat ng x. Pero yung y mo, yung y mo, wala kang value dito. So wala kang mga tinamaan sa part na to. O 1 pataas, wala. So ang meron ka lang ay 1 pababa. Range is y such that y is less than or equal to 1. Or kapag set bill, um, pag interval notation, negative infinity hanggang 1. Including 1. And that's our example number 2.